Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video. In the last learning video we have seen how to get the complementary function for the partial differential equation. In this learning video we are going to discuss about the particular integral. So what is particular integral? Consider the partial differential equation of the type like this. Then the quantity 1 upon f of d into d dash into f of x y is called pi of equation 1 and it is given by pi is equal to this okay now depending on the nature of this f of x y we have different rules to get the particular integral so these f of x y may be e to the power x plus b y it may be cos x plus b y or sin x plus b y it may be like x to the power m into y to the power n and it may be like e to the power x plus b y into uh, any one of this. Okay, so these are the different rules we have for the particular integral. So in this learning video, we are going to concentrate on the first that is what happens if f of x y is equal to e to the power a x plus b y. Then p i is equal to 1 upon e to the power a x plus b y okay then what you have to do is you just have to put d is equal to coefficient of x and d dash equal to coefficient of y and if f of a b is not equal to 0 then you get the integral particular integral but this is not the case always sometimes you may not be getting f of a b equal to 0 so sometimes when you are getting f of a b to be 0 then the case fails and then you have to apply the Gayatri mantra which says if your case fails then multiply numerator by x differentiate denominator with respect to d and the function as it is and then again you substitute d equal to a d dash equal to b and carry on okay so this is what we have in this uh, uh, method particular integral for the first case now let us take an example to solve the problem So, I will take a problem on it. So, problem 1 says solve, solve d square minus 3d d dash plus 2d dash square operating on z is equal to e to the power 2x plus 3y okay just because this is the very first example so I have to write systematically so we can start like the given PD is the given PD is this okay now this is this is homogeneous this is homogeneous linear partial differential equation okay so find out its complementary function and particular integral and write down the complete solution okay so its auxiliary equation is how we can write the auxiliary equation put d is equal to m d dash is equal to 1 is equal to 0 so you have its auxiliary equation this now find out the roots so its factors are 2 and 1. So m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 1. So on the basis of these uh, roots, you can write down the complementary function. So what is complementary function? Phi 1, y plus 2x plus phi 2, y plus x. So we got the complementary function. Now your next uh, thing is to find out the particular integral. So what is pi? What is pi? pi is 1 upon d square minus 3d d dash plus 2d dash square into e to the power 2x plus 3y. So what this method says? The rule number 1 says put d is equal to 1 and d dash is equal to b d is equal to a and d dash equal to b so put b is equal to 2 and d dash equal to 3 
in f of d d dash we get what do you get pi is equal to 1 upon 2 square is 4 minus 3 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into d dash square what is d dash square d dash square is 3 square into e to the power 2x plus 3y so 3 3 is a 9 18 9 square 18 that get this get cancelled so we have 1 by 4 e to the power 2x plus 3y okay so the case holds here that's why we are getting the solution write down the complete solution therefore the complete solution is Therefore, the complete solution is, what is it? The complete solution is, Z is equal to CF plus PI. So Z is equal to CF plus PI. So, you can write down your final answer. What here I am writing? So, the final solution is, Z is equal to, what is CF? 5, 1, Y plus 2, X plus phi 2 y plus x plus 1 by 4 e to the power 2x plus 3y. Don't forget to write where phi 1 and phi 2 are arbitrary functions not constant. Okay, so that's it. This is the solution of the problem. Now I want you to uh, try problem on this. So let me write try this problem for you. So example 2 that you have to solve at home is uh, d square plus 2d dash okay sorry d square plus 2d dash minus 8d dash square Operating on Z is equal to e to the power 2x plus y. And the next example that you have to solve is, is let me see, solve 4r plus 12s. Four R plus twelve S plus ninety is equal to e to the power three X minus two Y. Okay, so these are the two problems that you have to solve, and we will discuss in the live interaction also. So thank you for watching this learning video. Keep learning, keep supporting. Thank you very much.